Hey cuties, so I know I look a little bummy today, but I just came from school and I'm not wearing makeup, so whatever, because I'm about to go to bed, or I'll, I will be going to bed soon, so I thought I'd make a video because, just to catch up on um, a lot of the videos I have to make, so um, yeah, this video is actually going to be about my visit with the priest. I know I told you guys about it before, or maybe I didn't tell you guys about it, but when I read my first like rough draft letter, I did mention it, so I'm obviously going to talk about it, and I did tell you guys that I was going to talk about it, so yeah. Um, and so what happened was I had told my mom that I was transgender like maybe six or nine months ago, so when I told her, she said that if I went through with it, that she would disown me, and that, um, that I can't do that, that that's messing up with how things are meant to be, like with nature and how God made you, etc., so on and so forth. FYI, just so that you guys have a background, my parents are Catholic, so there you go, like that's the religion I grew up with. Um, so, yeah, um, at that point, like, when she did tell me that, I started to, like, backtrack a little bit and say, like, oh, it was something I was thinking about, it's not something that I currently am gonna do, I'm not, like, gonna start tomorrow, I'm just seeing a therapist about it, and it's something that I was just thinking about. So, when she did, when, when I told her, and, like, I told her all of that, whatever she's like well you know what I want you to go see a priest and I feel like my parents think that like well specifically I guess my mom thinks that me talking to a priest is gonna fix whatever I'm going through which it really isn't because I don't know I don't I know a lot of people that are Catholic and whatnot put um, priests in a high regard and I just don't see them like that um, so, yeah, so, um, she wanted me to go see a priest, I was super resistant, I'm like, I'm already seeing a therapist, I don't know why I have to see a priest, it doesn't make sense to me, and she, and we just kept going back and forth, and then I gave in, I was like, fine, let's go see a priest, but my thing was, I wanted to go see a priest I've never met before, a random priest, like, just somebody that I'm never gonna see again and doesn't know my family and doesn't know anything about me because I knew in a sense what priest she was gonna take me to um, I already kind of had a notion of like oh I, I know I know who she's gonna take me to and she's like no because I have a priest in mind and whatever and whatever whatever and then she told me the priest's name and I'm like of course of course it was gonna be him I knew it was gonna be him why do you want me to go see him and she was like because I trust him and he knows our family and etc so on and so forth and I was not having it so we were just again going back and forth with that and I just I just gave up and I was like fine let's go see him so that you'll shut up and you'll leave me alone and whatever so I went to go see this priest and I went to go talk to him and obviously my mom went with me but like when I went to go sit down with him I was in the room alone with him and my mom was like in a different room or something or outside of the office or whatever so I went to go see him and we talked about like I start he's like oh, okay so what are you here for and I said okay I'm here because my mom brought me here because I'm transgender and I want to change my sex to be a girl and he's like oh how why are you telling me this or not not why are you telling me this he was like he's like why would you want to do something like that what makes you think like that etc like stuff like that like why are you thinking like that what would make you want to do something like that um and i was like oh because you know i've always liked feminine things i've always been a feminine and he was like well i was like that when i would when i grew up and honestly like you can't compare one person to another so i don't know why you're trying to compare it like i'm just saying this like this is a side note from that um i listened to everything he had to say but um, it didn't stick with me, just because, like, 
right off the bat, like, I tell him, like, oh, I've always been effeminate, and then he's gonna tell me, like, oh, I've always been like that, too, like, growing up, I was like that, so, so he's trying to say, like, that's not a justified reason, or whatever, and I was just kind of, like, you know what, like, I'm not really, I already knew I wasn't gonna get anything out of it, so then he proceeded to say, like, well, you know, you being transgender, like is just a part of you don't let it identify you as a person you doing the things you do don't let that identify you as a person and i was just kind of like okay that doesn't make sense and it's not coming to to really a conclusion like it wasn't making sense at all like he was just saying don't let the things in your life identify you as a person. Well, duh, I know that I'm not going to let things in my life identify me as a person. Like, pff, who? I mean, I, I'm i smart enough and old enough to know that. Like, I don't, I don't need a priest to tell me that. I shouldn't let me being transgender identify me as a person. It's a part of me as a person, but I won't let it identify me. You know what I mean? So, whatever. I really didn't get much out of it, and... I ended up, like, every time, like, I don't know if you guys get feelings like this, but, like, when I meet a person or I'm around a person or something, I always get a vibe from them, and he was no different. Like, when I first met him, I got a weird vibe from him. Not that it made me feel, like, really uneasy or anything like that. It's just not very a very pleasing vibe, like don't get me wrong like I didn't hate him or have any anima animosity towards him or anything like that I just got like an off vibe from him so um when I went to say goodbye to him or like our session was over and I was like oh okay bye whatever he the vibe kind of started to come back because he got really into my personal space he was like right like really close to me like that close like i could figure out what he had for lunch or breakfast or whatever time of day it was like that's how close he was so that was a little much for me he was all up in my personal space and i wasn't having it um and then to make matters worse he was like oh you should come again sometime but next time don't bring your mom so that's that like him being that close to me and then saying that is a little weird I mean maybe it's just me but I thought it was a little weird and I didn't think it was cute and, and it just sounded like a whole bunch of I don't know I don't want to say he was like a perv or anything because he wasn't like he didn't touch me or anything like that but you guys see what I mean right like it felt like it could go in the pervy direction, you know? So, um, so yeah, so that was it with that, and I knew I didn't want to see him because he knows my family, and, you know, when, when you talk to somebody about, about personal issues, you want to see somebody that you're never going to see again, or you don't know, or a close friend, like, when I say a close friend, not a close friend of the family, I'm saying a close friend of yours, like, your friend. Like, I don't have a problem telling my friends personal stuff or my cousin personal stuff because they are close to me. But when it comes to, like, somebody that's maybe a family friend, like, and when I'm saying family friends, like a friend of my parents or a friend of my brother or something like that, when they're not, like, directly my friend, but I do know them and know of them and I've maybe met them and commingled with them or whatever then it's a little much and I don't really appreciate that and I don't really care for that I'd rather go to either somebody that's close to me personally or go to a random person and that was my biggest thing with that priest like I wanted to go to a random person I didn't want to go to somebody that knows my family or that kind of has like an idea of my family because then they might have their own personal bias or whatever but yeah, that was it with that, and, um, the one thing I took from it is, if anything, is, you know, don't let anybody sway you from what you want to do in your life, whether it's, um, a job, a career, um, a goal, a dream, an aspiration, whatever it might be, 
um, going from male to female or female to male, whatever it might be, as long as you're not hurting anybody or hurting yourself, don't let anybody sway you from doing what you want to do. Um, I can't... I guess I, I, I don't think I could ever stress that enough just because I feel like a lot of times in my life I've let what I thought of other people affect what I'm going to do in my life. Um, um, so yeah, like that, that, that's what I could take from that. Um, yeah, so remember to like, comment, subscribe, share if you dare, and as always, have a wonderful week, you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, cuties.